I'm Karen Kennedy. I uh, run a business called Kennedy Accountancy and Bookkeeping Services Limited, based in the Highlands of Scotland. So I've got a very nice view um, behind me, but it's raining at the moment, so you can't see it. Started the business in October last year in lockdown, and I've got so far 48 clients. So a real mix, um, no particular niche other than my niche is the local community. I was a finance director of a college um, locally, handed my notice in and had three months notice to work. So I started doing some sort of preparatory work in the background and then went full time, got my first client just at the end of October, so really the start of November. I had a few people that I was kind of helping out on an informal basis because I didn't have a practicing certificate. So they came on board as clients, did an advert in the, the local paper. That was as simple as it was. Got my first few clients and it's just sort of grown from there. Um, grown quite organically um, in terms of referrals. But also um, I discovered a woman called Karen Rayburn who runs We RPF. Uh, so I did, I've been working with them on marketing and, and things like that. So using social media, nothing sort of game changing or, you know, that sort of thing, but just getting my, my face out there and talking about my values and things like that. And yeah, that's, that's really how it's grown um, to, to 48 now. So it's grown a lot quicker than I anticipated, um, but there's still room for, for more growth yet, which is really exciting. So in terms of marketing, as I said, I'm very much um, community focused, live in quite a rural area and it, you know, everyone knows everyone um, to a certain degree. So the first bit of marketing I did was that advert and that, that really worked for me just to let people know, because obviously we were in lockdown and no one was seeing anyone. So it was even just that, that way of letting people know what I was doing. But I wasn't working with Karen at that point. So it was very much a sort of clinical um, I am an accountant and bookkeeper, this is what I can do for you. Uh, but through working with Karen, I've been working on my sort of um, my brand and my company values. Um, so I'm really excited about the, the rebrand that's happening and, and sort of redoing my website. And I think, you know, that, that initial advert really helped and regular posting on social media. And I'm doing a hundred day challenge of posting on my business Instagram every day well I don't do a Sunday but every day for a hundred days and you know video does not come naturally to me but you know what does come naturally um, not very much in life so that's the kind of cop out so if if there's other accountants out there saying oh I hate video just do it you know and especially with Instagram stories it's gone after 24 hours and really who cares like if you feel stupid it, it really doesn't matter but once you start doing it it gets easier the posts that get most engagement aren't about accountancy or tax. They're about my little boys running around or the, the lovely place that I live. So I definitely recommend finding whatever platform you know, speaks to your clients and, and using it consistently because I suppose it's like anything in life. Do it consistently and you get results. I think that's one of the, the key things to, to remember is that you know, there's so many accountants and bookkeepers out there that you've got to sort of set yourself apart. And um, I think, you know, posting about the latest tax changes is, is good. And I, I do do that as well. But there's an assumption that you know about tax and things already. And, and people are not in competition with other accountants um, over who can do the best tax return, you know, for the cheapest amount. Um, I'm about community, I'm about why, why I'm doing what I'm doing, you know, for my family. So I think it's important for people to realise that. And also for people that perhaps don't align with those values will know that that's not, you know, really my, my cup of tea or they, you know, they won't resonate with me. So I think it's really important that it's not just a, a faceless accountancy business and um, got to kind of speak to people um, and have that balance of you know, professionalism and knowledge, but also be a person and not a robot.